Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, bands and ball. We got three blocks of work today, 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds of transition. This is a total body, so we're gonna be hitting the glutes, the thighs, the quads, the core, and the arms. Hey, if you're ready for this workout, do give it a thumbs up and make sure if you're new, welcome, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workout. We're starting with the band around the ankles for the warm up. So roll the shoulders back, brace the core, set that intention. We're gonna have a great workout here. So a little squat, rise up. Two more. And then we're gonna do a little step touch, tap to the right, to the left. So it depends on how heavy your band is right now. Mine's kind of like the light to medium. So I can get a little good range of motion here for the warm up. We're gonna take this to a hamstring curl, pull the heel to the butt, reach, heel back. Flex your foot. Eight more. All right, pause. Leg to the back and the front, swing it back, front, back, and step it in. Switch the sides. Back, front, back. One more time each leg. Ooh, a little balance. Make sure you have a good squeeze, keeping resistance on the band the whole time. Start to squat, down, up. Make sure your knees track your toes. Four more, try to get a little deeper here. All right, back into that little, step it out. Heel to the butt, reach and pull here. I like to flex my foot. Get nice and warm in the back of the legs here. Four more, and then a nice slow squat, slow squat. Back to front, right leg. Switch that. Really squeeze here so you get the back of the leg, the front of the leg. One more time. Start to squat down again. If you want some more arms, reach forward as you squat. Keep the arms here, hold that squat. Two steps to the right. Take it over. I guess I should say your left. One more trip over. Now hold, squat it down and up. All right, one more squat and we are ready to go. So here's where I want you to place the band. It's gonna be around your feet. So go ahead and make that adjustment and meet us on a plank. Make sure you have the band around your feet and when we're in plank, keep pressing those feet outward so it doesn't move up your shoe. So we are gonna come down into plank. It's kind of a tricky position to get into, right? Hands under shoulders, pull the head back. And we're gonna bring knee towards the elbow. And take your time. So again, keep pressing the feet a little outward so the band does not move. And really a big exhale to bring the knee to the elbow. Great way to get the core, the arms. And we're gonna keep it at the feet for the next move. Looking out in front. This move is making me nice and warm. All right, all four. Keep those feet flexed. We're gonna take that right leg, we'll use that real right leg, and we're gonna kick it back. Bring it knee to knee, push back. 
Firm up the arms and the core. Kick it back, knee to knee. And you're gonna really feel it on that boom, those last few parts of that movement. This one I would say, don't go for that super heavy band or you won't get that range of motion. Is your band good? All right, at home your band good? So the last 10 seconds, we're gonna hold it out. So right now, hold it straight, turn up the arms, pull the head back, lift that leg up, three seconds. All right, relax. Wiggle anything. If you need a little wrist roll. Going on to that left side. Flex the feet. Three seconds we go. Here it is. Kick it back. Knee to knee. And again, you want to have that, ooh, that effort on that back part. You could even keep it further out versus bringing it in. Pull the abs in. Pull the head back. Have great alignment here. And we're gonna hold here, so hold it out. Keep it lifted. So I feel that in lots of great places here. Pull it up and in. We are standing and we're gonna move it up to the ankles. And this leg is gonna be the working leg. Point the toe, goes to the back corner. So if you were to be, if you need some stability, you could be on a chair, but we wanna lift up and out, almost tucking the tailbone. And we're doing a diagonal lift. Shoulders back. So now we really focus on the side of the hip, for that glute. And you can always add Arms, if you want to reach them out, that feels good. Just squeeze back there. All right, shake it out. Whew, going to the other side. So roll it back, pull up and in, have it to the corner. My toe is pointed. I can do the reaching of the arms have a little contraction, then go for that lift. So when the band is lower down, it's gonna be harder. If you wanna make it easier, you can bring the band up higher, up to the thighs. But we only have 40 seconds. It's a no repeat. I think you can do it, right? Yes. Oh, I'm feeling it now. Come on up, squeeze. Shoulders relaxed, core pulls in. Woo, just up a little bit. I'm gonna go kind of a little bit mid-calf. Start to one side of my mat, taking two steps over, and then two calf raises. All right, pull it up and in, here it is. Two steps, calf raise, one, two over, pop it up. So when I do the calf raise, a slight bend in the knees. Still keeps those hips a little bit activated after our diagonal lift. In this workout, you can do barefoot. Keeping it, so let's take it in to a little bit lower. Why don't you bring it down for a hamstring curl? Just this leg. We pull the heel to the butt, tap it down, pull it up, pull it back. So pull the heel to the butt and really try to get it up as high as you can. I'll turn to the side, really pull it up. Squeeze, then release. No need to rush. 
Feel the contraction in the hamstring. Come on, pull it up. Show me the muscle. All right, shake it out. Woo. Plus my standing leg, right? You can feel that stabilizer in your standing leg. All right, set yourself up. Shift it into that right side. Lengthen the spine. Pull the heel up. All right, you can do anything with the arms if they want to be like athletic arms. We're used to repeat our knees. This is like a reverse, right? Keep it long and strong in that core. Light tap of the foot. Come on, I want more squeeze. We just got five seconds. Feel some burn. Woo! All right, move it up to the mid thighs. Feet in first position, so that means heels together, toes turn out. Have a little lift if you need something to hold on to. Bend the knees and press out. Shoulders back, out, so we have abduction. If your balance is a little off, put the feet on the floor. If you're barefoot, really try to get your heels together. And here's that. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over your heels here. I don't want you leaning forward. I want you nice and tall. And then from this position, we're gonna lie down, look at the ceiling, and come to our elbows. Whew. On your back, right? So we're looking up at the ceiling on the elbows. Legs are long. Keep the bands separated. We're lifting one leg up. I think I'm gonna move it down a little bit. Make it a little harder. How about that, right? One leg lift. So we really work that quad now. While you're on your shoulders or your elbows, keep lengthening the neck. Now see if you can lift a little bit to the corner away, like a diagonal lift away, a little way. Just change the angle, perfect. Relax, great way to work your quads without hurting the knees here. All right, set up in position here. Great posture, looking good. Leg is up, and it's ready to go for that straight leg lift. Another option, you could be on your hands. Hey, you could even put your little squishy ball into your low back. And if it's not hard enough, walk the other foot away a little bit. Corner a little bit, angle it out. So this is the bottom of our block. Right after this, I want you to get water, take the band off, and then go for your ball. Woo, all right, shake it out. Band's coming off. Get your water, and then come back with your ball. So we're going to place the ball into the back. It's going to be right around the bra area and the feet are going to be up and we're holding here. Now arms reach up. So if you feel like you can't get into this position, get rid of the ball. You can be on your back without the ball here. Now we're adding movement. Just the arms are going to reach back, take them out to T. 
and up. So we're circling back and around. And I thought Carol was gonna hit me with those long arms that she has here. <laughs> if your neck gets a little bit tired, right? You could just hold with the hands behind the head. Now, the challenge is to hold this and transition into the next move. So we got three moves where we're gonna be like this. If you need a break, take your feet down. I'm gonna stay here. Same arm, same leg is gonna drop, and then we switch. We call this a dead bug position. Again, you can do this without the ball in the back. Now, to help your neck out, right? Maybe you look over one shoulder for a minute, or for a second, and then look over the other shoulder to kind of relax your neck for a, mo a moment. This is like doing a hover without being on your hands. Lengthen, brace the core. Now, see if you can hold. If you need that break, take it. The next one is the legs. We're gonna go down with the legs, up with the legs. Arms can reach back or stay behind the head. I need a moment, how about you? Oh, it was getting hot, and then I was getting hot. <laughs> Here we go. It was a good challenge. Next time, maybe you don't. Drop, right? You'll find a different side of me. The one I like to be. A different it depends side on of where me. your ball is, right? Woo! Feel those hip flexors. We're almost done with this. Then we flip it with the ball in the thighs for a forearm plank. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was all I could do. Woo, flip it, put it in your inner thighs. Forearms, please. Woo. You can start right now if you want to. So here's what I want you to be thinking about. Pressing into the ball and your pelvic floor should be engaged. All we're doing is holding. Feel like you're dragging yourself forward. Especially after what we just did. You, you should feel this, right? Like it's getting deep. Now all you gotta do is do a little tuck, lift the hips just a tiny bit, and then release. But when you come up there, I want you to pause and release. Pause and squeeze. Release. Now stay here for a second. Just do Sphinx pose. Oh, before we move into side crunch. All right, turn onto your side, keeping the ball in the inner thighs. We're doing a side crunch, bottom arm reaches out, and we crunch up. You can keep the feet down if you need to. Up, squeeze, maybe a little press into the ball. Get to engage the pelvic floor. Ooh. Next one, I want you to just hold it. Press in, press in, press it in. Can you stay up there? Ooh. Relax. Swing it around. Ooh. It's amazing, these just make me really hot, right? Ooh. Here we go for that side crunch. Crunch up and squeeze. I always feel like when we do those really isolated movements, it's firing up so deep inside your body that there's like this spark of flame, right? That's what I'm hoping. So you lean into your back pocket to get up into that side crunch. Next one, we're gonna hold it. Here comes the fire, press in. So strength and stillness. 
All right, stay where you are. Flip it onto your back. Look at the ceiling. Ball stays there. I really want that ball to be like as deep as it can go. Feet flat on the floor. We're just bridging. I'm gonna have my arms up, pressing into the ball as we lift and lower the hips. And it's good to take away the hands and then have the back of the head on the mat. So that means ladies ponytail high or ponytail low. Where's your ponytail, Carol? Right in the middle. I should have told her, put the high pony on today. So we're activating glutes and inner thigh. This one we're gonna hold at the top, stay at the top here. Now, elbows to the ground. And elbows a little bit away from the body, elbows to the ground. Press into them a little bit because we're gonna take one leg away. Pick up your right foot. And then as it's lifted, can you press it into the ball? Like little pushes in. So I'm gonna hold, then release, hold. Switch legs. Okay, so hold it first. Keep the hips up and then press in. Feet down, can you hold it? This is just like when we did the ball in the back. Can you hold this? Now, walk your feet out, like one or two little steps. Extend, I'm gonna do two little steps. I'm gonna go extend a bridge, heels on the floor, toes up, tuck and squeeze here. So toes are up, heels dig into the floor. It's a little tuck and squeeze. I'm gonna reach the arms to the sky. Tuck, squeeze. Press in on that ball. Come on, it should be changing shapes here. Ball will change shapes. Your butt will change shapes. Woo! And we should work the glute area at least two times, three times a week if you want to have a change happen. Woo! Fire up. Oh my gosh. Let's place the ball into the back. Oh a little bit higher, like right above the tailbone. Rotate, we're gonna rotate to you. Either holding on or letting go with a little side crunch here. Or twisted crunch. That's out of the ball, so it's lift. Ooh, your thighs are happy now. You gotta break. Hold it, reach out, in. Isometric hold. At the top, if you wanna just lean into the ball, you could hold it or take a break. Ooh. We're gonna take the hands to the outside of the back leg. Get a nice twist here either holding on or letting go. I feel like you're kind of lifting off the ball, up. A good twist. And this is working that deep transverse abdominal area, that pulling in. Hold it, sweep it back. Bring it up. Twist, really reach it. One more. Woo! All right, you guys, that was the bottom of 11. Block number two is over. Get some water. We're gonna go back to the band around the wrist.
So this is gonna go around your wrist. We're gonna be facing this direction. It's a hand tap out. So I'm gonna tap the hand out, tap it in. Set yourself up. We're gonna get into some arm stuff here. So come in plank. Knees or toes, tap out, then in. Off the mat, on the mat. Oh yeah. So if you need to, come onto the knees and you can still work just as hard. I promise. If you're on your toes, make sure you have the feet separated. Pulling the core up and in. And then from this position, we lie on our stomach. I'm gonna have to just back up a little bit. Oh, woo. All right, on your stomach. You reach the arms up into super, and you pull the elbows back. And the band goes under my chin here for a lap pull down. Lift up, pull, forward, then down. If it gets too hard, just stay in the super. Pull it, come on. And use your backside to lift you. Okay, long arms. Hold in as much as you can. Woo! Five seconds. Woo! All right, stand on up. Oh. Grab onto it. So I'm gonna grab, take my right hand, grab down, left hand's gonna hold it by the shoulder, and I'm doing a tricep kick back here. So kick back. Just stand with your feet solid. And I would have my hand up higher, but I'm gonna hit my mic. But try to stay in a kind of great little contraction of the tricep. You can turn a little bit here. Let's see your tricep. Boom. There it is. And then we'll hold the last 10 seconds, okay? Because those are fun to do. Whew. Hold it. Keep it straight as you can. Lock it out. Come on, shoulders push down. Relax. Oh my gosh, was, was it fire? Fire. Here we go, switch the hands. Woo! Who would know, right? This band's a great little tool. Hey, take it with you on vacation. Here's that kickback. <clears throat> if you're going anywhere for the holidays, it's a great workout to take with you. This gives you a full body workout. No, no impact, do it at your apartment, at a hotel room. it down and then in three seconds we hold it hold it now keep it nice and strong push it down plus your arm the other arm is working I can feel my bicep contracting so from the tricep we're gonna do bicep Whew. all right foot goes on the band oh. and I come on my knee I'm gonna have it hand outside and it's just a pulsing curl. So it's not gonna go, it depends on your band. If you have a really loose band, maybe you get all the way up. I'm not. So this is gonna be a great way to really concentrate right in the heart of the bicep here. And then check your posture out, right? Ugh. Ooh, this one's tough. Especially after that tricep one. Oh. Okay, and then when we get to that 10 second mark, we're gonna hold it. So let's hold right there. Keep that muscle contracted, maybe poke it, make sure it's stimulated. Is it? Yeah. You're not poking. All right, switch it. Sometimes when you poke it, it can make it activate more. <laughs> I think I was at a workshop one time, they said that, just poke it, maybe it'll activate it more. All right, here we go for the your arm, nice curl. Mm. 
And then again, whew, good posture. Sometimes, right, you get a little tired, you get a little sloppy. I'm breathing a little heavier now. Woo. All right, get ready to hold it right now. Hold it. Poke it. She's poking. You poking. Poke it. Feel that muscle you're creating. All right, nice job. We're going to take it around the thighs quickly and then come back onto the hands and knees. So we did that hand tap. Now we're going to do like a toe tap. Ooh, get it up, get it up. I'll give you another, I'll give you another second here. Right? I had issues. Maybe you didn't. I'm having like serious issues. Okay, on your hands and your knees. Here we go. Right here, toe tap out. So staying in beast, pull your head back, press through the hands. Oh, those arms don't get a break. Let's go. Pull the belly up and in. We're gonna go for a little swim here in a few seconds. Woo, on your stomach. Arms reach, nose down. This is what the swim will look like. Take a deep breath. Lift up and super and swim. Pressing outward with the legs as you lift them up. Come on, good movements here. You need to strengthen that back side of the body. As much as you hate this, it is good for you. What were you saying, right? Carol wasn't saying anything. Maybe at home, right? Come on, three seconds, you can do it. Woo, donkey, put the band underneath. I'm gonna put it underneath my right knee. Left leg is donkey kick. Knee down, heel up. I'm gonna come to my forearms. Press it up, a push. And look out between my hands. Keeping the heart rate elevated. Your heart rate up. Oh yes. So let's push down. Got a little shake going on here. Woo. Activated some areas that maybe hadn't been activated for a while. It was intensely relaxed. Woo. Switch the legs. I'm gonna adjust my band. Oh. All right, goes under my left. Five seconds. You ready? Here we go. Donkey on the left. So knee shines down and foot is flexed. Man, I'm like shaking. How about you? Oh. My glutes. A pause. Pull the shoulders down. Raise that core. Mm. Woo. All right, place it around your thighs. Grab your ball real quick. Is your ball near you? Ooh, here's my ball. Here we go, last move. <clears throat> Bend on the thighs, kick the right leg, then the left leg, there we go. Woo! So the band stays around the thighs. The ball just gives us another element. Exhales, you come up. Woo! 
Should be fire everywhere. Oh, reach it long. Oh, let your ball roll away. You can take your band off. Woo. Oops, my ball's going to right towards you, Carol. <laughs> oh, all right, hug the knees into your chest. Student, awesome. Woo. Oh, figure four, take the right foot across. Oh. I think we're so used to being outside. Oh, being in the house, I was like, oh my God, I'm a little hot. Woo. Give it one more big hug. And then keep that right knee into the chest, extend your left leg, drop it across you. So you have a spinal twist. I think you're okay with my There we go. Nice Bring it up and let's switch the legs. A little hug, figure four. Extend the leg and then drop it across the body so we get a nice twist. If you're short on time, it's a great workout, right? I think it was around 32 minutes. The knees back into the chest. Rock yourself up. Give me a straddle. I'm just gonna come back a little bit. Straddle here. Go to the back leg, elbow into the knee, side stretch. Then turn to the leg, nose to knee. Take it up, let's go to the other side, elbow into the knee, side stretch. Turn, nose to the knee. And center, let's just do a butterfly stretch. That feels good, especially in the low back. Feet together, knees drop open, grab the feet, and then drop the chest towards those, those feet. Come up to standing real quick or slow, right? Ooh, that was, in, I mean, that was like bang, bang, bang. I was surprised at how kept the heart rate up. So a big inhale, reach it up, pull into your heart. One more time, inhale, reach, have your gratitude. What are you grateful for today? Grateful to you, taking time to come and join us. Woo, grateful. thank you, Carol. Nice job, we had a good sweat. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Hey guys, check out the description box below. Lots of information for some things that are upcoming. Hey, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can stay in the loop of what's happening. You guys have a great day. Take care, bye. A quick intro here. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout, bands and balls.